Hi guys, okay, so firstly, we are going to navigate to ads.google.com and you'll come to this screen where you have the option to start now down here at the bottom on the top right or sign in if you already have a Google Ads account. I'm going to click the start now option and um, here you will be able to log in if you have an existing Google account, which I do. So I'm going to click on this option here. Otherwise, you will be able to create a new Google account. So I'm just going to sign in. OK, so I've already got multiple Google accounts already set up. Um, so some of you might already have Google accounts as well already set up. So what you can do is click the plus new Google Ads account option here. If you haven't got a Google Ads account set up, you should just navigate straight to this next page here, um, which is Google's smart campaign setup. And you'll see here that um, Google has some advertising goals available for you to either get more calls, more website sales or signups, or more visits to your physical location. Now, this is um, what I would call an express campaign for Google. Um, it's not what we want on this setup today because we're going to use um, advanced techniques to ensure that you have full control over the targeting options for your campaign. Um, so we're going to switch to expert mode at the bottom. So you'll ignore this section. Please don't click through next here and click on this switch to expert mode. Now you'll come through to this main new campaign page um, where again, Google will give you some options in terms of what you would like to achieve from the campaign for your goals. Um, so you have, for example, if you want to get more traffic to your website, more awareness about your brand, you have a brand awareness and reach campaign. You may want to increase your lead forms online, which could be a lead uh, campaign, or you may be an e-commerce business and want to generate more sales. There's different options here. Um, you can choose the one which is most relevant to your specific business. However, you also have the option to create a campaign without a goal. Um, so don't feel any pressure to pick anything at this time. You can just click here at the bottom, create an account without a campaign as well, or you can create a campaign without a goal. Um, so what we're going to do initially is for the account shell, we're going to create an account without a campaign. So we'll do the initial account shell setup, and then we'll do another video to talk through how to do the actual campaign setup. So if I just pop on here and click through and um, you'll come through to this business information section please ensure that whatever information that you do enter here is correct because um, you won't be able to change the sentence later down the line so for my business personally UK is correct for the billing country United Kingdom for the time zone and I want my currency in GBP British pounds so I'm just going to go ahead and submit that and there you go, congratulations, you're all done in terms of setting up your account shell. What we can do now is click on this explore your account option here. And this will take you through to what the Google Ads interface will look like. Obviously there's no um, data in here at the moment, nothing set up because we haven't built a campaign as of yet. But once we do get through um, to the campaign setup, you will see multiple more um, tabs down this left hand side for options. And when you click in this campaign section, you will see your future campaign. So please follow on to the next video on how to create your new campaign.